In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the local admins reporting tool that is part of the 80 Pro Toolkit. Uh, this tool allows you to scan uh, your entire domain or single computers or computers from an OU and get the members of the local administrators group. Um, so to run this tool, you'll click on security tools and then click on local admins report. And then by default, if you just click run, it'll scan your entire domain. Um, but in this example, I'm going to select a specific OU go into demo and then just click run. And it's going to go query all of those computers and get the members of the administrator group. So you can see here PC1, uh, it's got an administrator, uh, an account called Matt, and it just shows you the object class. So if it's a user or a group, and then the user, the principal source, will show you if the account is local, uh, which means it's coming from the PC. It'll, it'll give the host name of the PC. And then if it's a domain account, it'll list your domain here. So you can see Matt is a local account because it's got the host name. Domain admins, it lists the group. So it's a, it's a domain group. Um, so you can see I've got several accounts that are members of the local administrator group. Here's another account just called M. And I'll also pick up um, cross forest domain. So you can see I've got two accounts with the same name, but one is from um, a domain called Verge and the other one's called uh, from a domain called AD Pro. So that's just a quick uh, demonstration of how you can quickly um, audit who's a member of the local administrators group. Um, so if you wanted to see all groups, you can just click on show all groups and then this will scan all of the local groups and show you who's a member of those. So you can see I got administrators. Let me just sort this. So there's the administrator group, the backup, performance, log. Um, so maybe you wanted to see like who's who's a member of the remote desktop. So who can remote in uh, to remote desktops? And then you can filter and search. So uh, if I was looking for a specific group or a specific user, um, I could type in, you know, if I was looking for an account called Matt, or if I was looking for all remote groups, I could search that way. Um, and then there's another option here to include nested groups. So let me run this one. So if a group, uh, here's a good example. So I've got a group that's a member of a group, and then it goes and gets all of the uh, members of that nested group. And another thing you can do is add some additional columns here. So uh, if you wanted to see the accounts Password export, if the account's expired, um, its status, let's see, password last set, the account's enabled or not, save changes, let me run this. And it's not going to do it for all accounts. It can only grab this for, I believe it's domain. Nope, it's some, some information it will grab for local. Um, so you can see these are all domain accounts, so it's going to grab the password last set, expiration date, if the account is enabled or not. Um, but for local accounts, it can't grab all that information and it can't get the, the account status. And then if you wanted to just uh, check a specific computer, you can click the search button there, find a specific computer and then click run and it'll scan just that, that one computer. And you can also um, upload or run this from a, a CSV. So if you've got computers, or servers scattered around your entire domain and you, you can't really pick an OU, uh, you can list them out in a CSV file and scan them that way. Uh, so this tool can also be run on a schedule. So to click to, to schedule it, click on scheduler and then click add and then select local admins report, give it a name and then you got to set your credentials. Click next, uh, select your uh, frequency. I'll have this run daily at 7 a.m., uh, maybe maybe 9 a.m. I mean, you want to pick a time where all your computers are online. Uh, and then you can then select your options here. So if you want to do all groups, nested groups, just check those boxes. If you wanted to change the path to an OU or use a CSV, you wanted to, uh, 
include additional columns, and then you can have their email you the results. So you would just put in um, who you want it to be emailed to. And we'll go admin report and finish. And that will save it as a scheduled task and that will run daily and email me the results um, of the scans. So that is the local admin report tool. Uh, again, this is part of the AD Pro Toolkit. Uh, it's a toolkit that includes uh, many tools, many reports for managing your Active Directory environment. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.